نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإنك لعلى خلق عظيم صدق الله العظيم Honorable President of the program Distinguished and affectionate judges My dear teachers and colleagues Today I would like to shed some light on Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him in the eyes of non-Muslims. Dear audience, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends many messengers to guide humanity and convey his message. At last, he sent his precious them and final messenger who was much awaited by the whole creature. Allah the Almighty Jail Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam with sublime conduct as well as all the qualities which were required to be a best human. Each and every creature of the world is highly obliged to this greatest benefactor of humanity because he led the people and nations from slavery to victory, from divergence to unity, from ignorance to knowledge, from fear to security, from nomadism to settlement. Not to talk about Muslims and his followers, even non-Muslims are highly impressed by his conduct and character. Let's analyze how he cast his spell over the hearts of the people, regardless of reason, caste, creed, and color. Here are some glimpses of non-Muslims' impressions, which indicate that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was supremely successful of all time. For example, Alphonse Gila Martin, a French poet and statesman, says about the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that there is Muhammad the Prophet, Muhammad the King, Muhammad the General, Muhammad the Businessman, Muhammad the Preacher, Muhammad the Philosopher, Muhammad the Prophet of Slavs, Muhammad the Statesman, Muhammad the Spokesperson, Muhammad the Reformer, Muhammad the Refugee of Orphans, Muhammad the Educator, Muhammad the Emancipator of Women, Muhammad the Husband, Muhammad the Father, Muhammad the Lawgiver, Muhammad the Judge, Muhammad the Orator, Muhammad the Apostle, Muhammad the Legislator, Muhammad the Tantar of Ayyad, Muhammad the Founder of Rational Dogmas of a Cult Without Images, Muhammad the Founder of 20 Terrestrial Empires, and of one spiritual empire in all these magnificent thrones. In all these department of human activities, he is like a hero. We may well ask, is there any man greater than me? Is there any man greater than me? Answer will be only that like him never walk on the face of this earth. I am quite certain that till the day of judgment, like him never walk on the face of this earth. Father Hassan bin Tabit, may Allah be pleased with him, says, وَأَحْسَنَ مِنْكَ لَمْ تَرَقَدْتُ عَيْنِي وَأَجْمَلَ مِنْكَ لَمْ تَلِنِ النِّسَاءُ خُلِقْتَ مُبَرَّأً مِنْ كُلِّ عَيْبٍ كَأَنَّكَ قَدْ خُلِقْتَ لَمَا تَشَاءُ Dear brothers, Mohandas Karamchan Gandhi, the Indian thinker, statesman and nationalist leader says, I wanted to know the best of one who holds today and disputed say over the hearts of the millions of mankind. I became more than convinced that it was not the sword that won a place for Islam in those days in the scheme of life. It was the rigid simplicity, the utter self-effacement of the Prophet, the scrupulous regard for his pledges, his intense devotion to his friends and followers, his intrepidity, his fearlessness, his absolute trust in God and in his own mission. This and not the sword carried everything before them and surmounted every obstacle. When I closed the second volume of Prophet's biography, I was sorry there was not more for me to read of the great life. Young India was in fire. Saints of Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are treasures of wisdom, not only for Muslims, but for all humanity. Dear audience, Reverend Mosford Smith says, The noble founder of a nation, an empire and a religion, the unlettered one bestowed upon the world the book which is a miracle, the eternal miracle and the true miracle. Muhammad and Muhammadanism, London, 1874, page number 235. Michael Essard says in his book, The Hundred, My choice of Muhammad to lead the list of the world's most influential persons may surprise some readers and may be questioned by others. But 
He was the only man in history who was supremely successful on both the religious and secular level. The 100 page number 33. Jules said, the greatest leader of all time was Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is written in Encyclopedia of Britannica that Muhammad was the most successful of all religious personalities. In short, the more they praised, the less it was. And at last, they expressed their inability by saying that لا يمكن الصناع كما كان حقه بعد الصلاة بزرق إن كسا مختصر I wind up my talk here, thanking you all wonderful people for paying heed to my words. وآخر دعوانا أن الحمد لله رب العالمين.